And we are speaking to the week ahead tarot reading. Kicking it off with the Eight of Wands clarified by the Hierophant. You know, something is not coming in as quickly as you might like it. And you may feel like that there are some top-down structures, some of those people above you that have been holding you back, that have been holding you down, not allowing you to move forward in those passionate, creative ways that you have so wanted to. When the Nine of Cups comes in reverse with justice, major life event, major arcana, you know, complacency comes to mind. You know, the Nine of Cups often is a cup of fulfillment, wishes being fulfilled. We are almost to the end of that cycle, closing in victory. But when it comes in reverse, it's almost like you're becoming complacent, um, not paying attention, and then therefore the next thing you know, justice is not served. Followed by the nine of wands, we have two nines back to back in the upright with the eight of coin. You know, this is the hero's card. This is, I will push on. I will continue to fight for myself. I am independent. I can take on this world because I master my craft. This guy, he is up night and day, completely focused, completely centered on his craft and what he's doing. He's not going to become complacent. He's not going to worry about other people's judgments. And he's certainly not going to allow anyone above him to tell him that his fire has to go to dim. This is followed up by major life event, major arcana, the beautiful empress. Look at her. She is divine. She is loving. She is centered. She is birthing new creations. She has every single thing that she possibly needs. You can see her there with the 12 stars crowned through her crown chakra, going right into the temples connected to the third eye. You know, she likes the finer things in life. And that's okay. We can love the finer things in life. Just remember, too much celebration often can deplete us and then it knocks us off the goal. Followed up by the High Priestess, the keeper of the Akashic Records, the keeper of all secrets in this duality, this dual world powered by her psychic inner wisdom. Often juggling too many things means that we have to rely on our intuition, our gut intuition. You know, this is Mars in Scorpio to me. You know, pushing forward, determined to survive at all costs, determined to continue to yield all of our goods and all of our crafts in order to birth into creation what we are focusing upon, not allowing the celebrations happening possibly outside of ourselves to distract us from the goal, letting the power from within be our guide, even though we may have some rocky seas that we have to put up with, some, some ups and downs and some twists and turns. We can juggle multiple things at once using the psychic inner vision. That psychic inner vision is going to lead us away from the rough waters that we have been traversing, giving us a seed, an epiphany. This week, Mercury will Kazemi the sun. That means great epiphanies, downloads, psychic intuition, the vision that comes forth and just tells you it is time. There could be some communication that says it's time to move away from those rough waters. You may have to carry forward with you some of those traumas, some of those mental anxieties and those stresses, but it is a step in the right direction because in the outcome, we have the beautiful queen of wands. Also, we had a little bit of a bonus card jump out with the knight of wands in reverse. This tells me complete opposites here. You know, the knight of wands sits in her throne. She's in all commanding control. She knows who she is. She gets things going. She gets things moving. 
and she is embodying the soul, the sun, the heart of all united wisdoms. But with this Knight of Wands in reverse, this is asking us to remember that moving in too fast might not be the best idea. It might just knock us off our horse and then we end up dead on the floor. The Ten of Swords. This guy is done. It's completely finished. The cycle has been completed. So you got to remember that after every single cycle, there comes an ending for the new beginning to begin. Prosperity lies ahead, the new moon in Taurus. A fiery climax approaches the full moon in Aries. Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Water my dreams. All I desire is on its way to me, but like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at perfect time. I am enough. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come into my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am. My own energy. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Simply reach out a hand. It is up to them to do the rest. No more shall we be held back. No more shall we be complacent. And we won't allow injustices. No, we will not. Not when it comes to fighting for our craft, fighting for who we truly are, allowing ourselves to be the gods and goddesses that we are truly in this world. We are deliberately moving forth through a higher consciousness state and we will not allow anyone to stop us. So whether or not you are a grounded Taurus Virgo energy or you're a psychic Scorpio Piscean energy, these energies are coming forth to tell you it doesn't matter what matters is how you hold yourself and keeping the strength of your passion, of your spirit, just like the beautiful Queen of Wands understands that all cycles too must come to an end. Walk in the light and spread the sparkle. You are the God spark. See you live this Tuesday night.